everyone, this is Hope, and I have part one to many parts of a book haul for you today. So, this is the little package that was on my doorstep when I came home today. And I was like, well, this could be one of two things. And I don't really know which it is. So, we're going to see. See if I can do this without scissors because that would be a feat. Come on. Oh my god, I did it. I recently have read Frankenstein by Mary Shelley and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the themes and her diction and use of words. I think she's such a brilliant woman and I knew that she had written another book that is called The Last Man. And I knew it was about this apocalyptic world that is set in the 21st century. And it's about the last man on earth or the last two men. I don't know, something like that. And it deals with a similar theme that Frankenstein deals with, which is isolation. And now I have her other book. I know that she's also written some short stories. Um, but I think The Last Man, Frankenstein are her two major works. I think I'm going to definitely read this soon because, like I said, I just finished reading Frankenstein. And I'm still in a Shelley mood. So hopefully this will be on my May TV, and if not, probably on my June TBR. So that was part one of the many parts of this magical book haul. We're going to deem it magical because why not? I did unbox all the books I got on camera, but something went awry and the video like stopped and I had to redo it. So I'm just going to show you the books I got. So the first book was from a giveaway and it is called It Takes a Fool by Sasha Dreams. And I guess this is a short memoir on how this woman was bullied in her elementary school years and how far she's come since then. So, yeah. The next book I got for my dad's birthday, and that is called Just North the River by Pete Hamill. And this is a historical fiction novel set in the 30s in New York during the Great Depression. It's about this doctor who finds his grandson on his doorstep one day, like a little baby, and he learns to raise him. So I think my dad's gonna like it because he loves historical fiction. I got two copies of The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, one for my dad's girlfriend because it's her birthday today, and one for me because I've been wanting to read this for the longest time. If you didn't know, Robert Galbraith is J.K. Rowling's pseudonym. I haven't read any of her mystery novels yet, and I know that that's a major reason why she um, developed this pseudonym. So, this book is about a detective who is assigned the case of a supermodel who dies because she fell off her balcony and everyone thinks it's suicide but other people say that someone murdered her. All in all, I'm super excited to read this, super excited for my dad's girlfriend to read it because she loves mystery novels. The fact that it's written by J.K. Rowling just makes everything worth it. See you in part three of the magical like two month book haul. All right, everyone, it has happened. Your girl, Hope the Reader, has bought her most anticipated release of 2015, A Card of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. It's happened, it's real, it's in my hands. Like the front is very awesome, but like the back, we like, look at this weird drawing. I love it. It's so weird and I, 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 I love it. And like the thorns and the vines and everything. It's beautiful.
and also the story itself, the text, is supposed to be amazing. Um, I haven't looked at the um, hard cover, you know, the naked. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so that was like the third part of this May June book haul. I don't even know how long this is gonna be. It could be from May to June, which would. No, it'll probably just be May because I'm probably gonna have a lot of stuff in June, so. Yeah, and considering that. I did go on Amazon and order my friend's birthday present, and, you know, I bought her book, so I bought myself some books, too. That's okay. Well, anyway, I just wanted to show you this. Also, um, when I finish this, I'm going to do a book talk on it, and I'm planning on finishing it it's the middle of next week, so, yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so... It yeah, see you when I post, like, part four of this May book haul. I'm weak. Um, okay, I think this is, like, part 1000 to this book haul. This is going to be the last part of this video. I'm going to show you the books that I did not stress order from Book Outlet first. So, the first book is actually from a giveaway on Goodreads, and it is called... It's Not Me, It's You by Mari McFarlane. <laughs> Did not say that right. So this, the front is not my favorite, but I think the side looks really pretty with these little detailing. I'm pretty sure it's a new adult book, and it's about a woman who um, is like in a bar with her fiance or something, and like she proposes to her husband, and then her husband's like, yeah! yay and then she gets a text message like two seconds later and it says oh my god ew Delia proposed to me it was from her fiance and her fiance was supposed to send the text to the other woman that he was cheating on Delia with so that happens and Delia is like heartbroken and I guess it's like the story of how she finds herself as she's dealing with this heartbreak and it's supposed to be a cute funny romantic book and it actually sounds really interesting i'll probably pick it up over the summer the next book um i got from amazon and i didn't like just go on amazon to order a book for myself because i'm i was supposed to be kind of on a book buying ban but it didn't really work but now i officially am so anyway i was ordering a book for my friend's birthday and i saw a book that i really have wanted for so long Mostly because the cover is beautiful. I, well, that was what lured me into the book. And also because the book, the premise just sounds so interesting. So this book is called Marina by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope so. Anyway, this is a Spanish gothic tale of a boy who... Um, becomes friends with this girl and they start exploring like ancient parts of Spain and they come across like these ruins and then like a cemetery near the ruins and there's like this mysterious woman who passes through the cemetery every night and I guess they I feel like it might be time travel into ancient Spain I don't know it sounds super cool and can we just look at this cover like, that, that's gorgeous and then if that's not like cool enough look at the naked spine like that's just awesome I don't think I have any like red naked books but uh, maybe allegiant but still it's just beautiful okay so i'm not proud of what i'm about to admit to but <laughs> the night before my ap test i went on book outlet and i was i was really stressed out and i really wanted to order some books because i haven't ordered from book outlet for like six months so I ordered six books. So the first one was from like the really cheap section that they let you access after you add $30 of books to your cart. And it's called Wide Open by Deborah Coates. Codes? One of those. Anyway, uh, this cover is really cool and I like the tree. I like covers with big trees in them. 
for some reason. Anyway, this book is about a woman who I think she goes back to visit her family after her sister committed suicide. And I'm pretty sure like her sister's ghost is haunting her or something. And then like she finds out that all these other young women have allegedly committed suicide within like the past 20 years and it's not really suicide. So she's like looking into that case. It's a, kind of a mystery, a, paranor a paranormal mystery. And I guess there might be romance in this because it says like there's a detective who helps her. And he's like the only person who believes that she's like talking to ghosts. So that, that sounds pretty cool. So the next book I got from Book Outlet is This Is Not A Test by Courtney Summers. This is the first book in a series, I think. And um, actually I'm not sure if it's in a series. But um, it's about a girl who's trapped in a school during a zombie apocalypse. So this is kind of like... I'm getting some Walking Dead vibes vibes from this, but not really. Because it has zombies, but then again, I feel like it's going to have some personal elements thrown into it with this girl. And yeah, this is the first Courtney Summers book that I'm going to read. And that's pretty crazy because I know she's written like a whole ton of fantastic books. Next book I got is Article 5 by Kristen Simmons. And this book is not quite apocalyptic, it's more dystopian. And um, this girl, Ember, um, is very poor and she lives with her mom. And she, like, she lives in this world where a bunch of different things are restricted. Like you can't read certain books, you can't say certain things. And it's all of, all of that kind of stuff. Like you can't like walk about the streets after dark. Okay, so her... This boy's dad is like a general in this city and he arrests her mom for doing something illegal and they fall in love. I've heard really good things. Okay, the next book I got is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Madsen. I've been wanting to read this book for so, 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 so long. I bought a copy for my friend too and I think we're going to read it at the same time. I don't know depends but this book is about this shy girl and this crazy girl and they're best friends and the crazy girl just disappears one day but she leaves the shy girl a list of 13 things to do that will make the shy girl go out of her boundaries and it sounds fun and contemporary -y and cute. Okay. The next book I got is called Compulsion by Martina Boone. And I've had my eye on this book for a long time. It's a southern gothic novel. And it's about this girl named Barry who moves to the south, to a southern plantation because her mom died and she had to move in with her aunt. And this plantation is like surrounded by all these ancient crazy spirits. So she meets a boy named Eight and they experience these spirits together. <laughs> I really don't know a lot about it. It just it sounds interesting. I love Southern Gothic stuff. I don't I don't know why. Okay, the last book I got is you by Caroline Kepnes. So this book is about, it's told from the perspective of a serial killer and it's about like this girl that he meets in his, co his coffee shop one day where he works and he becomes obsessed with her and he like slowly like replaces her boyfriend. I, I think he kills her boyfriend, I don't know, something like that. And then I guess he's planning on killing her. And we're told all this from his perspective, which is crazy and cool. And I'm really excited to read this one. I'm not sure, I don't think I'm in the mood for a super creepy, disturbing book right now. I still have Aftershocks from Sharp Objects by Jillian Flynn. But... When I get in that creepy mood, I will be reading this. Okay, so that was my entire book haul. I'm finally done. 
thank you so much for watching this. <laughs> Bye!